Welcome back. I've got something awesome today. We're going to write some music. In the first episode, I told you that we're going to figure this out together. So that's exactly what we're going to do. I'm going to use the Digitech Trio Plus and a riff that I've been fooling around with a little bit. So the song will basically have three parts, a first verse, a chorus, and then a second verse where things are going to get a little bit more complicated. And I'm just doing this so it doesn't take like three hours for the video. Try to keep up with all the button pushing and knob turning. And if you have any questions, just comment below and I'll get back to you. Okay? So let's do it. <laughs> So first, let's erase everything. Okay. All right, let's go to another section here. Okay, and we are ready. erase that okay first of all let's choose a let's say a rock alternative alternative rock style and the riff is this <laughs> Can't say that I like it. Let's do it again. Much better. Okay, so now we've engaged the looper, so let's do it. One, two, three, and... So that's the first part. So now we're going to write a second verse and we're just going to put a few more elements in there, okay?
So right now we have two parts, the first verse and the second verse. The first verse is this. And the second is this. Let's come up with a, a chorus now. Write the third part of this one. Okay, let's do it. Let's... Let's find another style though. on the chorus, maybe some kind of power chords or something. Let's... Okay, so we can also put a guitar effect. That... But it, it really sucks, so let's not. <laughs> okay. One, two, three, and... All right. So we've recorded our three main parts, the two different verses and the chorus. Now we have to put it in a sequence so we can make our song. Okay. So we have two times verse one, two times chorus, two times verse two, two times chorus, and that's it. All right. Let's see what it is.
that's basically our song. Well, basically, it's a backing track. And now on top of that, you can actually play some solos and uh, practice some scales maybe. So on the chorus part, you can solo on A minor pentatonic scale. Okay, so let's just fool around, see what we can do. I'm Ben, reminding you, it's never too late to start over. Now go make some music. <laughs>